Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna put the trolling motor on it. Can we like slide it right in? Look at that. Come on. Come on. And they slide right into the muck. But that one didn't go as far down, huh? Lorenzo, what do you think, bud? Come check out your new dock, girl. All right, guys. Check out the new addition to the fine household. This is our dock boat. Woo! Dock boat that we built yesterday. Guys, we are gonna show you how to build a dock. Very simple, cheap, and easy. And so, you don't need any <clears throat> professional help, but do this with parental vision. Oh my gosh, I can't even do an intro without interruption. No, but you need parental vision. I don't think a kid would do this by yeah. themselves. Guys, we're gonna show you how to build a dock boat, and um, it's gonna be pretty cool. I, I hope you like this video where Bryce Contento comes over and we knock this thing out in a couple hours. And so, guys, all of the, oh my gosh, all of the specs and all the things that we need to, to build this will be in the description below. It's our shopping list. So, uh, guys, check that out if you're interested in building a floating. I must have got it on film. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, well, check it out on slow-mo, what Sophie just did. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Let's get to the video before any more nonsense happens. You guys, on each, on each corner, All right, guys, so now first step in building our dock, we've got to get our barrels, which we got. We've got six of these barrels. We actually bought these on OfferUp. I bought all six of them for about a hundred bucks on OfferUp, which turns out to be pretty, pretty good. And so these are going to be the primary thing that keeps us floating. What do you think, Lorenzo? I think this is pretty important. Pretty important. All right. So guys, here's what we do. Yeah, we've got to make sure that they're empty. And so they are. And now what we have to do is we have to silicone these things shut because we don't want our dock to have water getting into these uh, little grooves so well first thing you do is you got to take a pair of pliers and unscrew all these caps and then what you got to do is literally dry all of them off as best you can because now we're going to put silicone inside of these inside of these threads and we're just going to make make sure that they are as dry as possible so i got some paper towels drying them off as best as we can and then we'll come back to you later with some silicone all right guys so next step is we got to put some silicone around these threads guys because we don't want any water getting in so i want to show you real quick what we got this is uh Advanced silicone, 100% waterproof, window and door protectant silicone. So guys, I'm just gonna snap off the, uh, put this in. Now, okay, so now guys, what we gotta do is we have to thread, we have to put silicone in all the thread of this, just like this, okay? Nice and heavy. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to get some jammed up in the threads of the cap. All right, now, we're going to put this in and squish it down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pliers. There's probably a better tool for this, guys, but I'm just taking a pair of pliers and I'm I'm just trying to tighten this cap down as much as possible. Okay, now there's some some up on the top here. I'm just gonna spread this along the edge to make sure that that silicone gets a nice seal, okay? Now, you're getting silicone all over your arm, don't move. Yep, Lorenzo's getting his silicone all on his arm. That's awesome. Because I need to actually do six of these barrels. There's actually 12 uh, holes because there's two, two
two holes per yep, barrel. Yeah, two times six, Papa. You can do it. We can do that. And I gotta make sure I have enough. I have two tubes of this stuff. There. Okay. Now, same thing here. I'm gonna put some in the thread like this. Here. Just kind of glop it in with your fingers. Okay. Wipe it, on the Wipe it on the barrel. All right, here we go. Let's get it twisted in. Twist it down as far as I can with my fingers. And then... Tighten it down with the thing. in with my fingers on the top oh, wait. all right guys so that's one barrel five more to go then we let it sit overnight so that the silicone dries and that tomorrow these barrels will be ready to float this is this is this is the, the dock stuff. Bryce the Lego kit the Lego kit are we building a dock or what dude we're building a dock today bud we're building a dock and it's like it's gonna get dark in like two hours you think we think it's we're gonna be standing on a dock in two hours we'll be standing on a dock in an hour and 45 minutes <laughs> if you stop man. filming and we can start building let's do it man <laughs> let's do it our frame correct right. this is our frame and this is gonna be about what's it 12 feet across yep. by six feet wide. Six feet. by six feet wide we got these are all two by two by sixes. And that's kind of nice and convenient. We don't have to cut because oh, that, wasn't by mistake. that was not by mistake. <laughs> My buddy Bryce has done this before. Sweet. All right, so we got 12 foot by six foot. It's a box. And now we've got our 12 foot runners and he's bringing down the barrels. Oh yeah, there's some epoxy on them. I load I loaded them boys up, man. Come on. I'm hoping that th there was a couple of them where literally the thread was just worthless. It just it just fits in. So I glooped it in. Look at that baby. Nice. That ain't going nowhere. Come so on. The key with doing a barrel dock is that when the barrel's floating, yeah. you don't want the decking to sit on top of the barrel. Okay. You want the weight of the dock on the runners on the runners on the shoulders of the barrel okay so we have the when we lay this out we want the barrel to be you know half an inch to an inch below the decking which means okay. we got to make these channels for the barrels narrow just, enough just right so that the shoulders sit on the the wood ah. against the uh the decking uh, our frame is built we've pretty got close. these yeah pretty close just so these barrels have a channel to sit in and these these runners will rest on the shoulders of the barrel. So I like it. About okay, twenty so inches apart. Nineteen and a half. Nineteen. -ish. Nineteen and three eighths. So we got to cut some some stringers. Stringers. Between the uh, the runners. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Lorenzo's finally on. Yeah, we'll see. He's, he's, he's on, dude. I see a fish. I see fish. What the heck is that? Big Mayan, dude. Dude, look at that thing. That's Okay, he's chopper, man. He's chopper, bro. Okay, we're going to catch something. That's like a five-pound Mayan. Bro, relax. Hashtag lies. Okay, maybe three. <laughs> maybe a pound and a half. All right, go get a knife and chop that dude up because you going out for something. I don't know. Whatever something. it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
while we're building a dock. All right, so guys, look at this. We've got our barrels set up. Bryce is getting in, in these guys um, drilled in. We've got these rollers. The, the barrels are spaced out evenly. And these runners are just literally resting. The barrels or shoulders are resting on these runners. So that the weight is distributed evenly. So we're literally building this whole thing. We're gonna attach them before we flip it over. I can't wait. Guys, that that little mishap on the um, shopping list really set us back. Uh, literally, the sun is like setting. It's a beautiful sunset actually, but guys, will we finish the dock today? Bryce thinks he could do it in less than two hours. We'll see. Here we go. We're back. Woo! That was bad. Dang! I'm sorry, Bryce. You didn't cost me any time, bud. No? No. I had plenty of cutting to do. Plenty of cutting to do? Lorenzo's yeah. still fishing. You get you get that mine cyclic cut up? Just, it took me just about 30 up. minutes. Get a sharper knife, please. Get him a sharper knife. We have sharper knives, bro. Man. We have knife sharpeners. I'm surprised you didn't cut his arm off. So, well, you've been cutting wood, huh? Yeah. Cutting wood. Cutting deck wood. All right. I got all kinds of hinges, and, bro, I don't know what happened to the hinges, man. So, Lorenzo caught a walking catfish, too. I didn't Dude, mean, while we're trying to catch, I was trying to catch, while we're trying to build a dock, Lorenzo's catching fish. You going to cut that hook? No. That's crazy. All right. Well, the catfish is only worth so much megapixels during this time. This time of here, Bryce, what are we doing? We're literally... Just burning the, we're literally burning the, the, the rope, rope back together. But we're we got these little eye screw eyes, and all you're doing is tying the barrels down, right? It, we're not even really. This isn't really to secure the barrels, anything more than just to hold them in place when we flip it. That's it. That's it. That's just just because to hold them in place. The weight of the dock is going to take care of the barrels. All right. This is so cool. Lorenzo just caught a big bluegill. Lorenzo, let me see that bad boy. Is that what do you think? Is that snook bait? I mean, if I've seen a slip Bro, right go now, get the Calcutta, man. <gasps> get the Calcutta. Put him out. Calcutta. Now we're just bracing. All the barrels are tied down. We're bracing. The inside of this. Daylight savings will not conquer us because we got lights. That's why light was invented. Yes, light was invented. First verse of the first thing God said, let there be light. And it was good. Yep. Here we go. We're flipping her over now. Oh, wow. That's heavy. <laughs> so now, are we putting it in the water? When we let it go. Just hold on to the back side of it. Hold on here? Yeah. Okay. Pull it back towards you on the bottom and let it fall on the top. Nice. How far are we going? I don't know farther. Good. Look at right there. Good here? Ouch. Whoa! Carrying the water? Huh? Almost. 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 Here we are. Look at this. Look at that bad boy. Here we go, guys. Now it's time to put the decking on top. Check it out. Yeah. All right, so these are cut what? Exactly the size, right? Six foot? Six foot. Yep. Here we go. And, it's, and we're just going to drill them down. That's it. That's it. That it's that simple. I love it. Here we go. All right, we lost a bit. Not the first time that's, Not the first time that's happened. And while we're building the dock, Lorenzo, why don't you show us what you just caught here, bud? Dude, that's that's got to be... Stud. That's a stud bowfin, bro. He's got to be, he's got to be five pounds. It's still there in the light. In the light? Well, okay. Here, let, let me get these screws back. So before we lose them. Wow. Wow. Renzo, yeah. why don't you uh, go ahead and take that bowfin back and get in the water. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. <laughs> you. It looks pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mr. Bryce, mm -hmm. he's screwing the last board in, guys. This is fantastic. Dude, is that your ringtone? My Mandalorian ringtone. <laughs> Come on, man. Love it. That's Star Wars. Kid. That's Star Wars all day. Oh my goodness, look at this, Lorenzo. 
What are you thinking about this, buddy? So excited. So excited. It's fantastic. This better have fish blood on it within a couple hours. Oh. It probably already does. That that, <laughs> that, that bowfin. That bowfin was flopping around over there. <sighs> fantastic. All right, so the deck is set. Now, we do have to put, like, drill, like, uh, down the middle. Is that correct? Yeah, you got to screw it into the joint. Screw them all in. <laughs> our maiden voyage for our floating boat. Right? Maiden right. voyage. It's a boat. It Here we go. It's not a permanent structure. It's not a permanent structure. Creek. City of Coconut Creek, this is not a permanent structure. This is a boat that looks like a dock. <laughs> Do we, like, just slide it right in? Look at that. Come on. Come on. I called dibs. You called dibs? Lorenzo just couldn't help it. Now do you think you can catch a tarpon on it? Ah, uh, heck yeah. yeah that's what I thought, baby. Are you still filming? All right, Lorenzo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> going in. Bro, before we even get the thing in the water, Lorenzo's already... Stable, right? Yeah. All right, Bryce, let me, let me feel go, what this feels like here real quick. Okay, it's a little, yeah. Well, you don't, have the, you don't have the post. The, uh, so once we have the post in, it'll, it'll feel it more stable. Go straight up and down instead of tilting. Oh, I love it. Lorenzo, what do you think, man? <laughs> do you like your new boat? <laughs> what a goofball. That's right. Come on, man. All right, come on, man. Let's finish it up. Right. I love it. All right, guys. So ultimately, our dock is built. Yay! And now we're making a ramp that will be on hinges and we'll be able to just flip it right up when we want to move our boat dock uh but literally it's eight feet long we made a, a frame just like we did for the for the ramp for the uh dock and we're going to attach this bad boy and lorenzo we're going to be able to walk out onto yes. our boat dock almost in shattering or should we call it a dock boat, dock boat. i think it's a dock, dock boat. boat i think it's a dock boat <laughs> Right? Does that make sense to you? I think that makes plenty of sense. Makes plenty of sense to you. We're going to walk right out onto our dock boat. <laughs> and Because uh, if it was a boat dock, then it would be a dock. But if it's a dock boat, then it's a boat. I fully expect to see a motor attached. Well, we're going we're gonna to put a trolling motor <laughs> on it. Point. You better. I have an extra trolling motor. We're going to slap that sucker right on. You like my boat? <laughs> this boat will have... <laughs> the, the water clarity just... It's tremendous all of a sudden. You can actually see the bottom and in all of its glory. And all the muck muck and glory. Alright. We're putting our hinges on our wait, dock you, boat. Wait, why would you want to see the muck? The the ramp to our dock boat. Dock boat. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. I love it. It's I just love satisfying it. when it's perfect. Oh yeah, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Okay, is it starting to die? I okay. have literally need to put in a minimum of two, four more screws. Four more screws. <laughs> Come so on. We need it to last. All right. Our ramp is built minus two boards. We are two boards short, so we have to go finish that up tomorrow. There you go. And you're going to have to do this every time you cast net from this dock. You are going to have to wash it off. You're going to have to wash it off just like you're doing now. Do you understand? Do you understand? All right. You got that, bud? Yeah, man. See, this is what the poles will get put down on so that our, so that our boat stays put. We got to put one of these on each corner, and we're good to go. That's the way to do it. All right, so we got these big conduit poles, and then we're just sliding them in, and they slide right into the muck. Oh, that one didn't go as far down, huh? Well, it's shallower too, though. Shallower too. Once we start hitting on them, they'll disappear. Though. They'll disappear. Got it. So we just literally put these guys on each on each corner. There we go. There it goes. Look at that. All right, guys. I now have pylons just like that for my dock boat. <laughs> and now they sink to the mud. 
Dude, look at that. It just slides down, huh? Guys, there's so much muck on the bottom of this canal that this is literally what happens. Unbelievable. Awesome. Come on. You see that? Look at that. Mark. It went down like four feet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And that's it. Bryce. <laughs> He's tired. Good guy. Good guy. All right. So, guys, here we go. We're going to walk on our new dock. For the first time, I, like I said, we got to get a couple more Except planks. For Except for your blood. Bryce's blood on the dock. Look. We've got blood on the dock. First time. But it's not fish blood. All right. So, guys, the, the dock floats nice. And it literally slides up and down these pylons. And so... The pylons keep it from going left and right. The pylons keep it from going left and right. So, it's actually... Guys, it's actually super stable. Way more than I uh, believed that it would be. So, buddy, I'm super impressed. Come on, tell Sophie, tell Sophie. Tell Sophie. Lorenzo, what do you think, bud? Oh, you know what we gotta do? We gotta put the icing on. What do you mean? Oh, it's not too far out. It is, it is far out. We gotta put the icing. Come on, Soph. Come check out your new dock, girl. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Sophie. No way. What do you think? You guys did a good job, right? It's all your dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Soph, what do you think? It's so, it's so good. <laughs> now, you could, you could actually hammer the, uh, the pipes down more. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't get... I would let it settle some. Let it settle. And see where it ends up. Okay. Awesome, man. Let's see. Okay. That is not what I thought my dock was going to be used for. Bryce, dude, I can't believe that we, we put this together. Even with my, like, mistake and even with, like, cracked knees and all that. <laughs> um, the kids are like... Yeah. Bryce. Thank you so much, bro. Dude, guys, watch the fans. We're going to put the um, all of the specs in the description below on how to build a dock boat. Oh, Bryce, thank you so much, bro. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Love you, guys. Love you, too, man. Watch hey, your lip. watch your lip. Guys, uh, subscribe, like, and share. We built a dock in like a couple. It took about three and a half hours, about three hours. Guys, uh, till next time, watch your lip. Let's get fishing. Check it out, guys. La Bamba Mexican and Spanish restaurant in Margate. These are Nacho Supreme and a chicken taco a la carte. Loving life. Loving life. Check it out.